Refugee agencies are warning that millions of Ukrainians could be on the move to escape the fighting, heading for the border with neighbouring countries. Our special correspondent, Fergal Keane, has sent us this report from the city of Lviv in the west, where he's been speaking to people seeking safe haven beyond the Ukrainian frontier. All journeys now lead west. In days, the lives of millions upended. The only thought is to get to safety. Many of us uh, thought that uh, it's just informational war, but <laughs> you see what happened and we don't understand why Putin does it. We need help from war. We, need, we, we say help, 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 please, because we're here. We're here. So we're alone here. and the sound they're having to learn to live with. The Russian army might be far from Lviv, but they're still a state of high alert. The sound triggered a panic attack for this woman. It is still the case here, despite the war, that the young trust their parents to protect them, whatever might come. However strange the world they've been cast into. Their hope is that the train would help them avoid this, the line of cars to the Polish border. So those people are moving on foot down towards the border with Poland, but it's another 20 kilometers from where we are at the moment. We just need to move out of the way and let more people pass us here. They're coming. And constant procession of people. However they arrive at the border, this slow shuffle out of the lives they knew is what awaits. Back at Lviv station, word that a train to Poland will leave in half an hour. But there would only be one this afternoon, and so many desperate to escape. This train is going now towards Dnipropetrovsk, which is in the east. No good to the people who are standing around me who want to get west as fast as they can, away from what they fear will be the advance of the Russians. And there are thousands of people along this platform. Can any train possibly take the number of people who are here? It seems very, very doubtful. There's an air of of desperation. It's quiet, desperation, but no less real for that. The train to Poland arrived. This is hard to credit, to believe in the Europe of 2022. People are just crushing all around me trying to get onto these trains. A woman, a young mother with a baby there screaming because everyone's getting crushed. This is not the result of any accident. It was created by Mr. Putin's deliberate choice. And it is they who must carry the burden. Fergal Keen, BBC News, Lviv. Well, most of those in Fergal's report are heading for Poland, where reception centres have been set up along the 330-mile border with Ukraine. The Polish government has denounced what it describes as Russia's aggression and says 115,000 people have already fled Ukraine since Vladimir Putin ordered his invasion. Our Europe correspondent Mark Lowen reports now from the Polish side of the Poland-Ukraine border. An arrival from next door, but which is now another world. The overnight train from Kiev pulled into eastern Poland today, carrying Europe's neighbours seeking safety from Russia's bombs. It took us 52 hours to get here. Katerina Leontieva and her daughter came from Kharkiv in eastern Ukraine as the missiles rained down on her city. How did it feel having to leave your home? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm, yeah, like tears are just coming, you know. I. I think I didn't feel anything then, and I, I, I'm starting to realize. Yeah, but I hope it's, it's just a short time trip and we will be back soon. 
The 19th century train station at Przemysl is now a modern refugee reception centre. Those arriving welcomed with open arms before travelling on around Poland and Europe. Among them, Irene and her children, her husband left behind to defend their homeland. They want to stay there to fight because uh, they're heroes. How do you feel about your husband being there now? I'm afraid. I'm afraid, but we believe that everything will be all right. We want to return soon, and uh, we are praying for them. Poland has become a vital lifeline in and out of Ukraine, welcoming those fleeing and sending ammunition and supplies back to those who are remaining. As Europe's newest war prompts Europe's freshest refugee crisis, it's now Poland and no longer the Mediterranean that's on the humanitarian front line. For Irene and her family, another journey now starts on to relatives in Italy. Homes, people, livelihoods are being uprooted. Scenes Europe thought were confined to the past. Mark Lowen, BBC News, Przemysl, Eastern Poland. Border officials in Moldova have confirmed that over 30,000 people have crossed into their country from Ukraine since Wednesday. Most of those fleeing are women and children. Men aged 18 to 60 are being told to stay and fight to defend Ukraine. Our Europe correspondent Lucy Williamson is on the Moldovan-Ukraine border, where she's been speaking to people who've queued for over 27 hours to get to safety. As Russians enter Ukraine, women are leaving. The last 10 miles before the Moldovan border is a queue of wives and mothers, scattered with foreign students, the only men allowed to leave. I meet Anna on the Moldovan side as she struggled to repack her car for the next stage of her journey. Six-year-old Yeva keeps her toys close. She had to leave her father and grandfather behind. The tears come as Anna tells me about leaving their men in the southern city of Odessa, waiting for the Russians to come. My husband stayed there to protect his country. I'm hoping the West will help us get out of this terrible situation because right now we are alone against the Russian aggressor. Many of those arriving here have no clear plan of where they'll go. The Moldovan government has set up 300 tents as emergency shelter for those crossing the border. There's still space here at the moment, but the Ukrainian city of Odessa Less than 50 kilometers from here is a key Russian target, and there's worry about a sudden influx if the fighting there develops. Moldova tonight is home for thousands more mothers and children as a rift between nations splits families apart. Lucy Williamson, BBC News, Palanca Crossing, Moldova.